Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Heavily Motivated. I am, um, I'm at the gas pump right now and I'm about to put gas in my vehicle. Today, I think is January the 25th, 2020. And you're like, okay, why is he at the gas station pumping? I've embarked on a different career journey and it has been full of fear, full of indecision, but all that fear and indecision has made me heavier in prayer heavier in determination and heavier in my focus. I'm at this gas station today, I'm on empty. I have probably $46 to my name. All of my credit cards are maxed out. And um, I just refuse to give up. I'm gonna keep pressing. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not even gonna share this right now. I'm gonna start vlogging this journey because I want others to know that it's possible when, when you have something given to you from God, when you have a, a true gift and an ability to change lives and affect others, that Satan is gonna always be behind you trying to get you. And the devil know that he can get to me through my finances. He know he can't make me mad. He can't make me do a whole lot of stuff, but if you play with my money, he can get to me. He can get in my head. So. My car takes $28. I think I say I got $46. My car takes $26. When I leave this pump, you know, I'm going to have $18 maybe to my name. I don't know if I'm math correct. Excuse me if it's not. But I'm a grown man. I'm almost 40 years old. And uh, I've been successful at a lot of things. And one thing that i do know i'm good at and i can make something shake with is i do know that i can go into the streets and i can sell drugs i can buy crack or buy powder cook it up i can buy ecstasy i can buy heroin and move it i can get a gun and i can take other folk money but i refuse to because i've done enough time in prison i spent enough time as a fugitive i have been away from my family and my loved ones long enough doing that ignorance, perpetuating that continuous cycle. And this is just me saying, dear Lord, I know I got it in me. <laughs> I know, I know success is in me. I just don't, I just can't seem to find it. But I refuse to give up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna keep waking up every day and I'm gonna keep grinding, I'm gonna keep just doing the right thing. Afraid, Lord. Just so afraid. <laughs> I don't even know why I record this shit. I do know why I record it because I know that somebody's gonna be in the same situation one day, and they're gonna be able to look at this and say, "If he can make it through, I can make it through." And that's what I want y'all to know, man. Y'all dudes out there that's trying to stop thugging it, trying to get out the streets and trying to get your life together, trying to be involved in your family's life and your kids' life. Man, we can do it. It ain't easy, but ain't nothing been easy. Doing this time in prison ain't been easy. Running the streets ain't easy. Ducking the bullets, got, having to walk around strapped ain't easy. I just pray Give me the strength I need to make it through this day. Give me the strength that I need to make it through today. I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me. I just want an opportunity. I just want a chance. I'm legit and it's hard being legit out here in these streets. So hard. I'm not giving up. Every day I step out, I don't even consider it a failure. I just be like, it's, I'm one one step closer to making it. I don't know if I'm a fool or not, but I'ma stick with it. I ain't gonna give up on myself. I'm not gonna give up on my dreams. I'm not gonna give up on my future. I hate being broke. Couldn't even, can't even like send money to my kids because I don't got it. But I hate being locked up. So, 
I ain't gonna do nothing stupid. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do what Black Steve taught me. I'm gonna put on my best clothes. I'm gonna put my best foot forward. I'm gonna put a load on. I'm gonna edge myself up. I'm gonna smile. I'm gonna work through all this pain. God, give me the strength. God bless him, man. I really, 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 really got to succeed because I know y'all out there watch me. I know y'all G's out there trying to get y'all life together. Like, man, y'all need to know the half. I had a dude come and ask me for some money yesterday to buy some bread and milk. I said, I need some bread and milk, bro. Let me put this gas in my car. Y'all stay blessed. Stay heavily motivated. No matter what, don't give up on yourself. Keep pressing. I'm going to keep pressing. I'm, uh, I got some life insurance. Somebody wants some life insurance. <laughs> Y'all will help me out. Get a policy on your kids. Come let me put a final expense policy on your mom or something. And the crazy thing, because if I had weed or dope and called people, they'd be like, yo, come through. If I had a box of stolen guns and called people, I know they they want to buy it. If I had some loud, they want to buy it. If I had a good deal on some cocaine, I can sell it. If I had some molly, everybody would be on it. I got life insurance. I got something that's good for you. I got hope. I got wealth advisement advice that I, I can't even give it away. People don't even want it. But you don't got to believe in me. I believe in myself. Kobe Bryant died. Police downtown Newport News got dragged by the police. Grandma's getting shot. Dre got snatched out the wheelchair and killed. <laughs> I can't even pay my rent in these streets, bro. I'm just keeping it 100. I don't even know if I'm going to share this or not. Fuck crying on TV. I don't even want nobody to know how much pain I'm in. I feel like I should share it so others can know that, that other folk going through it too. Mm -hmm. Let me think about it. I don't even want to pump gas because I'm going to be broke. All right, brother. All right, sister. Stand up. Keep fighting. Peace.